Death is inevitable. This video is going to explain to you how to prepare your family when you're no longer around. None of us like to think about it, let alone talk about death. However, it is your responsibility to prepare your family for when you die. Now, this video can be applied to other things than just your collectible coins, your silver, your gold, and your bullion. So we're gonna talk about a few of the top things that you will be doing to help prepare them financially on how to deal with your collection. The first thing you're going to do is you're gonna let them know they will be okay and you're doing this because you love them. You want them to be prepared. You don't want them to be in the dark. It's very important to always be prepared when dealing with anything financially because when you're not prepared, you could lose a whole lot of money and we don't want your loved ones to get shortchanged. The number two thing is you want to educate them on what you have. And in the case of coins, if they're certified, how they can you know, use some type of reference material, whether it be the internet, uh, whether it be a book on how to look up prices, and they should get a little bit of an insight there. And you also want to give them the insight on where to look for the price of gold and silver. Now, they don't need an in-depth education. They just basically need an overview so they can understand a little bit of what's going on when they do take your collection somewhere to try to sell it for some of that fiat currency. The third thing you should do is, I mean, I feel this is one of the most important things, is let them know where not to go. That's right. I said, let them know where not to go. Because if you already had a bad experience with a coin dealer or some other type of business that you deal with, whether it be at a show or a person, you don't want your loved ones to go there because obviously they may not have a good experience either. So I feel that this number three reason of where not to go is a very important aspect. And as I said earlier in the video, guys, you can apply this and just change it just a little bit to different aspects of your life, different financial situations. The number four thing you need to do is let them know who you feel comfortable with working with, with dealing with, you know, who you have a built a rapport on your buying, selling, and trading of your coins. The number five thing, and is another very important thing, is introduce them to who you feel comfortable with. Some of the people that you think that they should possibly take the collection with. Because what needs to happen here, and this is right along with number uh, three, where not to go, this number five reason is they need to build a rapport. They need to get comfortable with who they're gonna work with. Now, they don't have to go in there like you do all the time and you know make deals and stuff. But you know, just bring them along, let them tag along. That way, the person, the dealer, or whatever he may be, that way he gets to know them a little bit. And honestly, the better you know somebody, the better the rapport is built, the better they're gonna treat you. And at this point, we've went through five steps on how to prepare your loved ones before it is too late. So guys, definitely take the time because death is coming. You never know when it will get here. You could make plans for a year from now, from a week from now, from a hour from now. And there's a possibility that you might not be there. So as I've done with my wife and my family, I think everybody else should build through these five steps on what to do. So guys, thanks for watching, and I really appreciate it.